Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. And things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. Then it'd be my pleasure. with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land, bringing modernization and betterment to the West. Pound leather, Marson. We need to meet the others in Pike Basin. Stay with us, Marston. You never know. The Baller Twins might have set up an ambush. Are you sure we're the Baller Twins, Eli? Sure as shooting. I'd know those boys any place. Are these the same rustlers who've been causing the McFarlands so much trouble? If you want to afford a rope around your neck, I'd advise you to stay on two feet around that ranch, Marston. They rustle them one day and sell them in seas landing the next. Come! Come on, Marston! I don't want to lose those rustlers! Canyon towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Coming from you, friend, that's a real compliment. My apologies, mister. Well, we're done for!
others. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Damn, those Baller twins got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why would a man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep, it's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps showing about. Beat those sons of bitches. Where's the marshal up here? He's been giving them hell on the other side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. He tell you he's all about the book. Let the judge decide a man's fate. But he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. Your rustling days are over. Oh, my good God! Lord, that son bitch! Let's push on to the bridges. For Christ's sake. He's only just holding them out. This ain't nice. I know. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for us. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You'd say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. 
I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. To the victor, the spoil. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. We must hurry. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, man. The father twin Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. Good Lord! It's those scoundrels once again! Not bad. Oh! He's out! Stay on the road! It looks like you got the ball. Now, get me to a doctor! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels brought me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, I'm a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much, and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you, the good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. This can't be happening. Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Oh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Great, are you 
fast with a blade. All right, my friend. All right, there. How much can you wager? How about this for starters? And you didn't even lose a finger. There you go. Here goes. Good. Great. But not good enough. Louis! That's one round one. All right, there. Who else wants to try? How much you gonna put down? Hope you know what you're doing. My blade. That's the best you got. Hello to you. Well, I never. <laughs> you ain't much good at this. God damn it. Watch this. I thought we were trying to do this quickly. So you want to keep going? Well, shit. Oh, shit. <clears throat> wow. Think I just beat a little. <clears throat> I knew I wasn't drunk enough for this. You got the balls for a game of finger filet? Is that too tired? Get what you did here. You take care, lady. There might not be anyone around next time. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouthed Bronco artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Whoa. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun.
Scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come on! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry! Sons of bitches! Bitch, you want to fuck about Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. The place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Let's search the area! Shed's clear, Marshal! No good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door now. Terrestia, get your guns ready. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Holy sweet mother of mercy. took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Hell no. Pretty little thing. Break to the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Don't do anything stupid now. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing.
But then Sir Marble started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. Come on, they're gonna get away. Follow me. We can still catch them. Come on. Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Come! Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! the chance. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. I nice see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. This. And 
not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Who's that over there? Yeah! Go! Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Watch out! Come on! Whoa there! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get Come the on, wagon. let's hurry! Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Come on. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Let's go.
You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, ho hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. He fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, sir... Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get down from there! You know... Part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says, you and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on. Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland back. Come on. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affair. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. 
That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them. Rob you, and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why's this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, the glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. That was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Come on. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me, but you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pass. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? And I now law to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. I'll kill all three of you myself, I swear! Kill. Whoa! Boys will be getting past poking, I bet! You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Wait, where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Ah! Damn it! Not
Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> 